Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office says during this investigation, deputies found nearly 100 videos of women and children playing in public. They believe the videos were taken at parks and neighborhoods in the Anderson Township area. While it's strange behavior, the prosecutor's office says taking those videos isn't illegal. You feel kind of violated and you're, you're really scared. Patricia Kelch brings her granddaughter to Anderson Township Parks often. She was surprised to hear a local man may have been taking videos of them without their knowledge. I let her go from front to back of the park and I'm not always there watching her. So it's kind of scary to know that he's around, you know, taking pictures and stuff. The Hamilton County Sheriff's Office says it executed a search warrant at Eric Zachary Johnson's Anderson Township home. Deputies found more than 140 images allegedly containing child sexual abuse or exploitative material. They say he had dozens of screenshots of children's Instagram pages. He could face 77 years in prison if convicted of pandering sexually oriented material involving a minor. But investigators say he also had 100 videos of women and children playing at local parks, which isn't a crime. When you go out in the public, you really lose your ability to insist on any kind of a right to privacy. First Amendment attorney Jack Reiner says there are exceptions in some cases. If that photo or photograph gets used in some sort of commercial setting, that's a different story. Then you can uh, object and get it taken down or get compensated for the for the use of it. But he says that doesn't seem to apply in this case and the people in those videos may never know it. Just the thoughts that they can come out here, take videos of women and children. It's quite frightening. Griner says if you notice someone taking a video or picture of you without your permission, you can ask them to stop. He says if they don't, you may consider calling police in case it leads to other charges like in this case. At this point, investigators have not released what park or neighborhoods those videos were taken. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.